Paperwork's done. Now I gotta figure out how to walk through the scientific process. Uh, What are you doing in my dream? Well, you said you needed help with the scientific method, so I'm here. Great. Where do we start? We start with your problem. What's your problem? What are you trying to figure out? Okay. Um, we, know we, we thought about uh, solar energy and cooking, so how about what's the best surface to cook something on with solar energy? What are you going to cook? Um, hamburger. A hamburger? Hmm. How about an egg? Okay. An egg might be a little bit more doable. Thanks. Yeah. So, from there, your problem sounds great, but what are you going to do for your hypothesis? Now, a hypothesis shows your variables. It shows your independent and dependent variables. And it's usually in an if-then statement. If I do this, then this is going to happen. So a hypothesis is, is a, a guess on my part. This is what I'll think happens if I do this. Absolutely. Okay. And then i got to put it... So... Uh, Make sure that it's educated, though. Don't, like, think that zebras are going to come out of your egg. Okay. So it needs to be a, a thought-out guess. Here's what I got. And my best thinking, here's what I think I'll get. Yeah. So if... Um, let me think. Uh, I know that... Dark surfaces absorb heat, and light surfaces reflect heat. So maybe if I say, if I cook this egg on a dark surface, it'll cook more efficiently than on a light surface. That sounds like a good hypothesis. Okay. All right. So what's going to be your control? What are you not going to change in the experiment? Well, I, I, I need to, if I'm changing my surfaces, everything else needs to be the same. So. Uh, same place, same time of day, same amount of sunlight, uh, and just change the color. Okay, that sounds great. Now, what are you going to need to actually do this project? What are your materials? Well, I'll need, I'll need a surface to, to actually cook it on. I'll need eggs. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll need a place outside exposed to the sun. I'll need, gee, I'll need some way to measure it. I think I can help you out there. This is my magic fairy wand that's actually a thermometer. It'll awesome. So I'll just measure the temperature of the surface. Or the I think that that's going to be your best bet. Uh, if you want to know which surface is going to be more efficient uh, in cooking the egg, you're going to want to look at time it takes to cook the egg and how hot the surface is. So I'll need a watch. You will need a watch. Oh, that's one way to do it. I've hey, got one of those. One. I have one. And mm, probably need a uh, pencil and paper to record all this stuff. Absolutely. I have another gift for you. You seem to already have the pen from your paperwork, but here's a science journal. It'll Thank help you, you document all the work you need. So not just my data. I'll put down my whole plan in here. Absolutely. Don't write your feelings or what girl you like. Okay. I'll try to stick to science. Yeah. You think the teacher will like this when I turn it in? I think so. Good. What else? Well, what's your procedure? What steps are you going to take? You need to make sure that another scientist can reproduce it, can do the same thing that you do later on. So, I, before I start, you think? Okay, I write down, I'm going to, here's what I do first, here's what I do second, and look at it and make sure it, it works. And I probably need to write down all my materials. Yep. Okay, make sure I got them all. Mm -hmm. So when I start, I don't stop in the middle. Right, you're not going to stop in the middle. But if you go through it and you notice that maybe step one doesn't really match up to the next step, yeah. you might want to add something in there. So you can do that in your science journal by just jotting it in. Oh, okay. Because... I don't always work in straight lines, so having that, that helps. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Now, after you write down your procedure, you have to actually do the experiment. When you do the experiment, you need to make sure that you're very careful in following the steps that you've laid out. Okay. Okay? Make sure that you collect data while you do it. Right. And that's to not only to record it, 
not only to figure it out, but write it down. Write it down. Being careful to be accurate. If you don't write it down, it's not going to be accurate, and then your conclusion could be wrong. And uh, if I don't write it down when I'm done, I have no proof. No, no proof. Nobody can come behind me and say, good job. No. Good deal. Sure. Now, when you get your data down, you need to analyze that data. And what does it mean to analyze? You want to look at graphs and charts? Okay, so uh, I can use tools to do those graphs and charts. I mean, like I could use Excel on my computer or Absolutely. draw it myself. Cool. Yeah. Now, once you've analyzed your data and really looked at it, then you can talk about your conclusions. Which surface is really the best? Was your hypothesis right? So it's really important that my hypothesis always be right? Nope. Oh. It's okay to be wrong. That's when we learn things. Oh, okay. Good deal. Wow. Well, that was weird, but now I got a plan. Let's get started. surface. I need two more trials on each surface to get my three in. One third of the way done. 